Hey class, just another video. Uh, this time I want to talk about reference junctions using thermocouples. Um, you can see thermocouples, uh, we want to measure with some digital voltmeter or maybe lab view the voltage that comes out of the thermocouple which will correspond to our measured temperature. Now, th thermocouple always has to have two dissimilar metals. So here we have metal A and metal B which creates a sense, sensing junction where we're going to measure the temperature of something of interest. Um, but we also often have another metal A creating another reference junction. And what this is, is with the metal A with the copper, another metal A and the copper, uh, that these two temperature effects from joining these two dissimilar metals cancel out with these two dissimilar metals. And that way we have this one reference junction produced uh, where we have two dissimilar metal junctions between A and B. Uh, we can, uh, in order to keep this the junction of interest, often what is done is this uh, reference junction will be placed in an ice bath. And so an ice bath will be produced uh, uh, by simply uh, placing a cup of uh, ice water where there's more ice than water. Uh, so you can fix that uh, junction at... Uh, zero degrees Celsius. Um, so if we uh, are able to fix that junction at zero degrees Celsius then uh, we can use our thermocouple tables. Our thermocouple tables, uh, in this case for our K-type thermocouple, uh, you can see here um, is a K-type by the giant K and if you notice, we can tell uh, the voltage produced by the thermocouples by looking, first of all, we're at the using degrees C, and on the left, we have uh, increasing temperatures, uh, increasing by 10 degrees Celsius, and on the top, we have uh, increasing by 1 degree Celsius. Now, these are all negative voltages because they correspond to the negative temperatures, but if we simply move down and look at the positive voltages then we can see here that we're increasing by values of 10 degrees and increasing by 1 degrees so if we want to know the voltage at 157 degrees we'd say alright here's 150 here's 7 so this is the voltage in millivolts that a thermocouple or a K-type thermocouple will produce with a 0 degree temperature ice bath as the reference junction you can always tell if this is the reference junction temperature by looking at the zero degrees. So if we have zero and zero, that produces a zero degree uh, temperature or zero degree millivolts. Uh, so that must be our reference temperature. You can also notice from uh, the thermocouple table here that uh, any temperature measured below the reference temperature or in this case if our reference temperature again is zero degrees Celsius uh, and any temperature below that will result in negative voltages whereas any temperature that's measured above the reference temperature will result in positive voltages. Now again going back to our thermocouple uh, let's say uh, we don't have an ice bath. For example, we're upstairs in the lab and we can't have water in the lab, so we're not going to make an ice bath. So our reference junction is going to be somewhere else, but we can measure it, let's say. Uh, perhaps it's um, we have a thermometer and it's uh, uh, touching a piece of metal. We, well, maybe we can use a thermometer or some other device to measure the temperature and we can make this reference junction uh, some other temperature and we can measure it and let's say we measure it to be 20 degrees Celsius. Alright, well, uh, we still want to use our voltmeter to measure some temperature and we're going to try to find that out. So our, uh, we're going to take our voltmeter and measure, let's say we get a measured voltage of 0 0.609 millivolts. Let's say millivolts. Um, Alright, well, 
You can't really use a thermocouple table because that was with the reference junction of 20 degrees Celsius, but we can, uh, if we can't use it directly, we can correct for it using the equation up here. We measured a voltage of 0 0.609 millivolts. If we account for the reference juncture, junction being 20 degrees Celsius, then we can add the equivalent voltage to our measured to get the true voltage that we should have measured had we had an ice bath. So looking back here we have an ice bath of 20 degrees Celsius will correspond to here is 20, here is 0, so that corresponds to a voltage of 0 0.798 volts. So that's what we need to add to our measure voltage to get our corrected value. So with our reference voltage, or the voltage corresponding to 20 degrees Celsius being 0 0.798 millivolts, we can add these two together according to this equation to get V true is equal to the sum of the two, which equals 1.407 millivolts. So this is the voltage that we should have corrected with our voltmeter had we used a zero degree Celsius ice bath uh, reference junction. So now we have to just look up that voltage on the, the, the thermocouple table to see what temperature that corresponds to. So with a corrected or a true voltage uh, equaling 1.407 volts, we can scan the thermocouple table and look for uh, 1.407 volts and we find hmm, how convenient it's exactly. We don't have to interpolate. Um, our voltage corresponds to a value of 30 plus 5 equals 1.407 Therefore, our measured temperature should equal, or should be, 35 degrees Celsius. Thus, now we know that T is equal to 35 degrees Celsius. Uh, so I hope this helps uh, understand uh, this equation, that V true is equal to V measure plus V T ref. Um, and the, what we need to do in order to correct for not having an ice bath uh, when measuring or using thermocouples. Now often, uh, this can be done for your, on your own. When uh, we use in lab view, we have the SCC TC01 modules. Uh, this is done electronically. There's no ice baths in our uh, labs upstairs and so what uh, LabVIEW will do is these modules have a thermistor inside them that will measure the reference junction and electronically compensate uh, for not having an ice bath such that the voltage we output will be a corrected value. And this is why when you select or choose a thermocouple in LabVIEW, there's different cold junction compensation options in the settings. And one is a built-in value which means use a thermistor to correct for the voltage. Uh, you could also use an external source. We can use another thermocouple or some other uh, temperature measurement device to measure the reference junction to uh, correct for the value.